now in its 10th year, the LIST Projects Exhibition Series has become a signature program at the LIST Center. Um, typically, though not always, offering artists their first institutional solo presentations. We decided to do something a little bit different with the next three and do a special season of experimental programming that is centered around artist collaborations. Each exhibition in this season of three special list projects exhibitions will pair two artists who have a past history of collaboration and foster their continued dialogue through a joint commission. I had been following Nancy and Field's respective practices, their individual practices separately for some time. Crucially, both artists are really centering deep research and pedagogy in their works, and they both have a real interest in teaching and reading and discourse. The series of works that are on view are part of a constellation of works um, in this series titled Photosynthetic, um, which I've been working for a couple of years now. Photography itself, you know, being like the primary medium that I'm interested in. The object in the gallery are sort of like undergoing a process of being stripped of um, the sort of photographic chemistry that's on the surface of the film and it's disintegrating, it's denaturing um, until it's, you're left behind with lar largely their precious metals that are in the film that make film light sensitive, primarily silver. And so like you'll see in some of the glass tubes on the wall um, and the extractions, you'll see an accumulation of silver particles at the very at the very bottom, sort of like an unstable process. This is something that I, I, I hadn't really realized or thought about. It's that a photograph can be seen, of course, like as a two-dimensional object. Like you can look at what's on the image, but you could puncture through that and, and look deeply at what are the networks and flows that make up actually the components of a photograph. There is a new piece here. It's an accumulation of silver that I've collected over a period of six months and eventually smelted down into this more like of an alloy of metals and like other stuff that's not, I'm not entirely sure what all of it is comprised because it's proprietary. Um, each kind of film stock has their own combination of elements and, and minerals and in order to make an image. It's been interesting. And I do think for me, it's also a pedagogical project in which so these objects and these kind of ideas become a syllabus to teach photography, you know, like as an educator, like how can we like rethink the timeline of photography as it's being told to include also the sort of environmental kind of cost of this project. Norbert Ryu, to just give you a little bit of context, um, was a black uh, chemical engineer who studies in Paris. Um, and learns about developing his system, which ideally is to take sugarcane juice and crystallize it to a granulated form. The other work that's in the space that comes after the drawing is an image of Norbert Ryu. Um, and I've used um, a digital kind of imprint with the formula of latent heat um, and I did that because that is one of the observations he makes in order to get a consistent form of sugar with the multiple back of evaporator under vacuum, is he observes that he can use steam or latent heat to consistently process the sugarcane juice. This image happens to be behind privacy filter. And the reason for that is because the longer I sat with Norbert Reyu's biography and his history, I had these questions of whether or not his invention was a form of black liberation. This collaborative commission is also a reflection of our interest in pedagogy and working with reading as a kind of practice. The selected texts are in many ways a, a, a kind of syllabus of like the things that we've been thinking with or thinking through. We were both sharing together. We were putting a lot of the things that we were reading, all the texts that we're reading, some of the texts that you see in the molecular library um, at the exhibition. Another part of the molecular library is this um, conversation that we had that turned into a booklet that's available for the public to take back and also download. 
which is called On Exhaustive Rips. And I think when we were having our conversation, one thing we did um, notice that was overlapping between our works is this idea of exhaustion. Um, whether it was the molecular being exhausted, whether it was labor that was being exhausted, whether it was um, the soil, the earth being exhausted, we wanted to touch on that.